Hey guys. Hey. Hey, Con. Hey. You guys are okay, really? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, Roman is pre grieved. Already gave it the office. They don't fucking believe me. You know, from where I'm sitting, you're the ones that look naive, okay? I've been worried that this was gonna happen for ages. How are you doing? I have no clue. Episode four it has a tragic feel for me in that the bubble, even though it's a terrible bubble of grief, is burst. Okay, hey, hey, you know, we're not like playing so, shoots and ladders, okay? Our dad just died. I hope there would be feeling of disjuncture, of, of breakage, of a hero returning from away to find that their home has radically changed when you get in there with Kendall. Is it real, Frank? I don't know. My dad wanted me to take over. I don't even think it's Kendall saying I'm gonna take the lead here. I think it's Kendall saying, let's call this what it is. I am the lead here. He was an old bastard, and he loved you. I feel like Logan has been very present throughout this season as a, as a, um, as a theme and as a um, context for all emotion, and the center of gravity is sort of gone. And then it's just, you know, it's the three siblings, and what's that dynamic between them? We got somewhere. Us. We've got somewhere. Yeah? Let's talk about it. Previously, it might, might have gone a couple of days without seeing Jeremy in a scene because we have been on opposite sides of the, of the fence, but then we're doing scenes all together, which has you know, been great. I'd like it to be one of us. And yeah, uh, Dad said so. Okay, well, let's discuss, but can you please just stop jonesing? You're walking around the wake with a fucking heart on. Episode four is, it's essentially a private event and they keep it private and that's maybe one of the interesting things to see these semi-public figures re genuinely private when a great man passes oh god and suddenly a guy who we've only really met once or twice before in the show is suddenly giving a speech about your dad as you watch on i've heard about such events around the deaths of public figures how the family can sometimes get edged out so what do you think so much has happened at, at our father's house that I can't walk in there without feeling the history of that. Our last day on that set was probably the time, the only time really, that I felt emotionally the sense of loss of this ending. In life when you experience something like that, when you experience death or something as, as awful as that, there's a community of people around you that understand that and can be sort of supportive, but when I'm putting myself through all the same things emotionally, but then I'm just gonna go home and do the laundry. It, it feels weird. It, it's not, it's, there's no way to really decompress. Logan Roy was such a giant. He was a man of humility, grace, dignity. Who died fishing his iPhone from a clogged In toilet. public, he was a great community. Really? I never sort of walk away or sit at home thinking, how am I gonna make this work? How am I gonna, what am I gonna bring to set? You know, I just turn up and do it. It's all available to us because the writing's so good and the character's so beautifully drawn and the story is so interesting and exciting and um, alive. What I love about the writing, it's just something that's, a, that's left for the reader to interpret. Hey, hi. Hello. Hello. Yeah, come on in. Have a seat. So to Kendall, it looks like definitely he meant for me to take over. Someone else, it looks like a grocery list that he's like half struck through. Hey, Greg. Greg. You're an addendum of miscellaneous matters in pencil with a question mark. Nevertheless. Kendall, in a way, does something quite Loganish, which is he just keeps all his options open. I don't think at that point he has decided that he's going to push aside his siblings. I think what he finds unbelievably annoying is their unwillingness to face facts. He, he's not super duplicitous in his at the end when he, um, he, he suggests that they, they go with the, the more aggressive um, sort of PR plan. So I think the fact that Kendall um, makes a solo move doesn't negate the possibility that he, uh, there's a possibility of him and his brother working together. It's what he would do. He'd want this for the firm. <laughs>